leading the drogue deploys. This view coming from the WB57 high altitude plane. And there you see it on your screen, drogue deployment. Drogue descent rate You can hear the crowd here. Visual on two coasts. It's way back to planet Earth. Next up, we'll stand by for the main deployment of the parachutes. The mains are quite a bit larger. You'll be able to notice the difference on your screen. We have visual on four healthy mains. That view was from inside. We can copy. Oh. That view was from inside one of the buckets where the parachutes are located. So we see a great view there of the reefing on those parachutes and as those parachutes, those main parachutes begin to inflate fully. Four beautiful, healthy mains. Now you can see those, uh, those parachutes continuing to slow the Dragon capsule down. And if you're just joining us, you're looking at 800 meters, a live view of Crew 9, just minutes away from splashing down off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida, splash down two minutes from now at 2.57 p.m. Pacific. We do have four healthy mains really doing the job there, just breathtaking views of a calm, glass-like ocean off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Crew 9 just minutes away from splashing down. This is relocated in the Gulf of America um, off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. And splash down, Crew 9 back on Earth. And SpaceX Freedom, splash down. Good main release. It is uh, an amazing what a ride. I see a capsule full of grins ear to ear. We can see those fast boats. We weren't kidding when we said they were fast. While it does take about 30 minutes for the main recovery vessel to make its way over to the capsule, these fast boats uh, will be doing a couple of things simultaneously. A couple of them are going to be working to retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background. The team here is doing those initial safety checks to make sure that it is safe for the rest of the recovery team to approach the spacecraft. They're also checking to make sure that any residuals from the, the pyros are, are safe and um, are not going to cause any issues. We can see the team working their way around the spacecraft to do these, um, event, basically these, these sniff tests on all of those Draco thrusters. And as we continue to... And so what we did just here, there was communications that those hypergall checks uh, were complete. They didn't find any of that upon those checks, so we'll continue to move through the timeline. Next up is a process called rigging, uh, which you see happening right now on your screen. This is Dragon spacecraft uh, when it returns to the when it returns to Earth. Um, it's just an initial check-in, make sure everybody is doing okay. They will uh, also have another check-in with the, with the flight surgeon once they are on board that recovery vessel uh, that you see there in the background. We can now see that SpaceX recovery, uh, recovery team uh, member uh, there on top of the Dragon spacecraft. They are going to be working to install plugs in the Draco thrusters to ensure that none of those uh, um, and to ensure that no more